I'm honored and humbled to serve as the Commanding General of the Expeditionary Contracting Command. Wow, <clears throat> the term Commanding General makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. <laughs> Being a servant leader uh, to my nation, to the command, and to uh, our personnel is, is my style. Uh, one of my favorite leaders is uh, Colin Powell, and he explained uh, many years ago that perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. I'm thrilled to work alongside you, sir, and Sergeant Major Quick as we shape the future of ECC and Army contracting in general. Command Sergeant Major Clark, I look forward to our continued efforts uh, to make ECC the most capable, responsive, and agile contracting organization in the Army, and uh, many would say uh, across the entire Department of Defense. I'd like to thank everyone who's worked behind the scenes to make this ceremony a success. The Yellowhammer Brass Quartet, thank you uh, for your spectacular performance. You sound great. Sergeant Major Clark, Sylvia, Trika, MCOs, and others, thanks for pulling this all together. I know my mom and dad are looking down from heaven right now. And they're saying, Mike, care for the men, the ladies, and the civil service professionals, for you are entrusted with their well-being and in times with their lives. As uh, General Harrison mentioned, both my parents were in the Marine Corps, and they proudly defended our country, the national interest, in a number of conflicts around the world. I'd like to pay, pay special tribute to my family, who's in attendance today, uh, for their unwavering wavering support uh, during multiple deployments, field exercises, and many times away from home. Uh, Debbie, we just celebrated 33 years of knowing each other a couple days ago, uh, and 29 years of marriage. Uh, seems like just yesterday we met walking to an ice cream social at Farron College. Avery and Dan, uh, thanks for being our life and for being here for the ceremony. Uh, your mom and I think the world of you, and we are very excited about becoming grandparents. <laughs> Michelle, you are our youngest and continue to be the artisan uh, that we look to for balance in life. Uh, thanks for joining us today and continue to be who you are. Uh, Betty Jean, my sister, uh, thanks for joining us today and always being supportive of every adventure I've been in during the vast majority of my life. Julian Wayne, uh, first and foremost, uh, thanks for raising spectacular children. I would dare say that Debbie's the best. Uh, <laughs> you continue to be our family and your presence here means much to Debbie and I. Uh, friends from uh, the Joint Staff, uh, Colonel McLean and, uh, from the Australian Defense. Um, uh, thank you for joining us, you and your lovely wife. Um, you bring a special level of common sense uh, to the Joint Staff and the Pentagon. Um, thanks for being here. <clears throat> in, researching, in researching being a general, in preparation for today, I found a number of interesting facts, kind of like facts, you know, what's going on today in history. On today, in 1945, the Japanese surrendered to the U.S. and coalition forces aboard the USS Missouri. Interesting, um, two commanders within the ECC have done their change of commands on that very ship that is uh, stationed in Pearl Harbor, uh, both myself and Colonel Marty Zaburo. Uh, interesting, this part of today being the same day. Generals are also skilled in both the art and science of warfare. Generals are also generalists who have an understanding of other aspects of national power that can be brought to bear on theater and national campaign strategies. I'll, I will do my best to live up to these traditions and these skills. So in closing, I'm blessed to stand here before you as Brigadier General. Another Colin Powell quote I like is, a dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. So we will continue to mature ECC and make it the 911 of expeditionary contracting for our Army and our nation. So thank you for joining us today, and thank you for your service to our nation. So Mr. Vice, over to you.